have got got your message so it's okay no more no more yes just concentrate on your on your lecture and there was a question like what is e horizon e comes with elongation e means wash out যখনই আমরা ই হরাইজন বলছি অনেক সময় এ টু হরাইজন বলে যখনই আমরা ই হরাইজন বলছি ই হরাইজন মিনস ওয়াশ আউট এলুভিয়েশন কোন একটা হরাইজন থেকে যখন সয়েল ম্যাটেরিয়াল ফাইন সয়েল ম্যাটেরিয়াল ইউ নিড নট টু রাইট ইউর আইডি হিয়ার কমেন্ট বক্সে তোমাদের আইডি লেখার দরকার নেই আই উইল সেন্ড ইউ a link to fill up that will give me the attendance in the class sometime in the class in the middle of the class i will share the google form you will fill it up that will give me the attendance so no need to write your id number in the chat box so please concentrate on the lecture as i was saying elubiation there was a question from one of you that what is e horizon on the e horizon bolchi the horizon from where fine materials silicate base or organic fraction these are wash out the horizon theke wash out hoy she horizon ta उटिकलिकेट हरइजन लुक्स এই হরাইজনটাকে আমরা বলতেছি ই হরাইজন যে হরাইজন থেকে ওয়াশ আউট হয়ে যায় আর আগে বলেছি যে হরাইজনে গিয়ে সেটা জমা হয় সেটা হচ্ছে বি হরাইজন প্রশ্ন করেছিলেন সৌমিক প্রশ্ন করেছিলেন সৌমিক ইজ ইট ক্লিয়ার সৌমিক স্যার এক্সামে ই হরাইজন নিয়ে কোশ্চেন আসলে নো আমি যেটা বলেছি ই হরাইজন ই হরাইজনই লিখবে ই হরাইজনটাই হচ্ছে এলোভিয়াল হরাইজন আমরা ই হরাইজনটা লিখব So we have learned these two, these three terms. Now we move on. Soil forming process. Soil forming process. Our first process soil forming process we will be discussing is podzolization podzolization and this terminology is coming from russian words podzolization this is coming from russian words like or and jola from these two words the word podzolization is evolved pod means under under means 
at the lower level. And jola means ash. So podjolization means some ashy material, ashy product in the under. Under means at the lower levels. So under means uh, you have something over it. You have something on it. So amonecta layer can attack be J layer ta rakum ash color, ashy color. Sheta camera. Shit, this oil is the shade of the bush. It is a type of elevation again. I mean, Bolachilam, J. These terms, humification, elevation, elevation, these will be frequently coming when we will be discussing about the development of different types of soils. Soil forming process, when it is discussed, this, these three terms will be coming off and on. So it's a type of alluvation in which humus and sesquioxides become mobile. Mobile means starts moving or something that moves, that mobile. Leach out from upper horizons and deposited in the lower horizons. What we have learned in our, as we have seen that in alluvation, something is okay. The question is, what is sesquioxides? I'm coming to that question. Sesquioxides means iron aluminium oxides. Iron aluminium oxides, either K combinedly under sesquioxides body, sesquioxides. So it's a type of alluvation in which humus and sesquioxides, humus, what is humus? Humus is the final decomposition product. Humus is the final decomposition product of organic matter. So sesquioxides, these are iron aluminum oxides. So iron aluminum oxides and humus material, they are washed out. They, they are washed out, they become mobile. They are washed out from, from a horizon and they move down and deposit it somewhere. So it's a kind of and this podjolization is accelerated under intense leaching. Intense leaching. What is leaching? Do you know what is leaching? What is leaching? Vertical movement of Newton. That's good. That's good. Leaching means wash out of nutrients or vertically downward movement of nutrient with water. When water moves down, it carries some nutrients. So that nutrient loss is called leaching. And here, humus and sesquioxides are lost are moved down. So they are leased out. And this mostly happen under forest vegetation. Because as I said, humus is lost. So humus is mainly found, uh, the high amount of humus is found in the forest vegetation where huge amount of leaves are deposited on the forest floor and they are decomposed and 
formed humus. And this humus, organic fractions are listed out. And with it, our sesquioxides, iron, aluminum oxides are also listed out. So this is an acid leaching process. This is another term. It's an acid leaching process. Why do we call it acid leaching? Why it is acid leaching? Acid leaching means as it is mainly leaching of sesquioxides, iron, aluminum oxides, you know, this iron and aluminum, they are acid cations based on acidity. If we classify cations, cations could be classified into two acid cation, basic cation, some are neutral as well. So, mainly acid cation, we have got acid cation and basic, basic cation. So, acid cations. These are iron, aluminium, hydrogen. So these are acid cations. As I said, please concentrate in the lecture. Don't go for writing your ID number and others. Please concentrate on the lecture. So I, I will give you the a uh, Google form to fill up, fill up for your attendance. That will take few minutes. So, as I was discussing acid leaching, acid leaching, it means leaching of acid material. What is the acid material? Sesquioxides, so oxides, as it is, uh, iron and aluminum oxides. This iron and aluminum, they, they are called, they are kind of acid cations, so we can term it acid leaching. Even, even humus, organic matter, that is also kind of acid in nature. So this is acid leaching process. The material that is leached out, those are acid in nature. So it is acid leaching. Under strong acid conditions, iron, aluminum, and organic matter are solubilized and moved downward. If the soil is acidic, strongly acid, then that acidic condition makes iron, aluminum, and humus material, organic matter, the acidic, acid, uh, acidic conditions solubilize this. So as it is solubilizing iron and aluminum, so that those iron and alu aluminum are in the solutions, and they are leached out with water. So they are going down. In B horizon, organic matter plus iron and aluminum oxides build up. This leads to the development of orthotic soil. So this is how the soil develops. It's called orthotic soil. And this is based on the leaching out of the materials and what kind of materials are leached out. As I say, in this case, the acid cations and humus, these are leached out. So under, if we want to call a soil particle, in that case, sesquioxides and humus material will be leached out from one layer and will be deposited in the other layer. So I have got a picture on the right side of the slide a true picture, a, a natural picture of porcel soil. You can see at three to 10 inches at, the, at that level, the color is ash, ash color. Why it is ash color? Because the organic matter, that is humus material and sesquioxide, siren and aluminum oxides, those materials are leased out from this layer from 3 to 10 inches. From this layer, these materials are leased out and deposited at the bottom. 
These are generated. These are generated in the system because we know if a soil has got high organic matter, that organic matter will make the system acidic, and acidity will be around five, will be will be, will be low. So that is the condition that makes the system acidic. And at the same time, as this system is acidic, that dissolves iron aluminum oxides and they are leased out. Okay. So this is how the material is lost from three to, has been lost from three to 10 inches and deposited below 10 inches, 10 onwards. At that layer, those are deposited. So this color is ash. As I said, port jol is coming from, port means under and jola means ash. So this is the ash layer. These soils are mainly found in the, in the forest areas. So these are not usually usually used for crop production. Mainly it is in the forest area. Okay. So this is how this port jol soil is developed. If we go a little bit further, some specific conditions. These soils are developed in the cool climates. So in the cold region, these soils are specially developed. So port jol soil, that's a good question. color ash hoy? That's good. Color ash hoy mainly silica. Silica is there. Silica will make the color ash. And the color forming, other color forming materials like humus and uh, iron materials, they are oxidized condition will make your soil red. So re that redness will be washed away. And in the, in the lower of that E horizon, you will find the color of like, reddish color. <clears throat> So it is developed in the cool climates. When precipitation, precipitation is more than PET, potential evapotranspiration. We'll discuss this evapotranspiration uh, at later stage when we'll be discussing water, soil water. So evapotranspiration means evaporation plus transpiration. So evapotranspiration is the evaporation plus transpiration. The total amount of water lost through these two process, evaporation and transpiration, that is evapotranspiration. So precipitation, precipitation is more than potential evapotranspiration. And what will be the situation? Precipitation means amount of water added into the soil. It may come from rain or, uh, or, or from uh, other sources. Bristi hote pare, dew hote pare, kwash hote pare. Bivin source take it, they put on water, soil mo they add hote. Precipitation. Our evapotranspiration loss. Addition of water into the soil, that is the precipitation, and loss of water from the soil, that is uh, evapotranspiration. Precipitation, when evapotranspiration is a bit, then what is it? In the soil, water is storage. Water storage, that will go down. Water is a bit, when it is Upon balance down positive hobby, upon water niche in the local water percolation will lots of it. Arjita Jonoma, a 
Forested areas. So this situation is mainly generated in the forest, forested areas, and these types of soils are found in forested areas. Strong relating acidic soils, low CC and low fertility. So the soil should be less fertile. CC means cation exchange capacity. Cation exchange capacity. So what is cation exchange capacity? It is the sum total of exchangeable cations present in the soil. That means, you know, a soil, it has got many colloids. It could be, uh, I hope you, you, have, you have learned about colloids in agricultural chemistry, is it? Colloid? Have you learned about colloid in, in chemistry? Yes, good. So you know about colloid. Colloids are very fine particles. And in soil, we have PET term target two. Okay, okay, I'm repeating PET. PET means potential evapotranspiration. And we'll, be, we'll, uh, we'll discuss in detail about PET when we'll be discussing about soil water. But at this stage, what you just need to know, it is the amount of loss of water from the soil. How much water is lost from the soil? That is P. And precipitation, by precipitation, we want to mean how much water is added to the soil. So just to show you the balance, either it is positive balance or negative balance. Precipitation, jodi PET loss is chye beshi hai, tahale positive balance hobe, maati the pani jom be, pani jom e thak be. Shri pani ta kakhan niche dikhe, loss hobe. Ar jodi PET ta, amar precipitation chye beshi hai. Demon amadir se, amadir rainy season e ki hai. Rainy season e onek beshi bristi paath hoch chye, shay tulo nai, maati thikhe jay evaporation hoye jay water loss hoch chye, maati thikhe transpiration e maath hume, planted, Body through the transpiration way. Transpiration way, the water loss hoche, sheta hoche amar PT. Tahale rainy season a jeta hoche, amar PT comparatively calm. Precipitation bristi patonic bishop hoche, therefore, a canache can amber the kipani jomiace. The joma panita. But on the other hand, now what happens during this winter season? Winter is not the winter. Winter is not the winter. It is not the winter. It is not the winter. PET, evaporation and transpiration, continuously. Plant body through the transpiration. Soil, soil, take a shed, evaporation, hooch, age evaporation and transpiration, hooch, she lost a dry season, a winter season, a comb. Continuously hooch, the precipitation at all. All a kind of balanced and negative wells. So the Marty Amadek was a dry well. Okay. Ale a relationship take a Precipitation is more than PET. A relationship to come with the pipe at the soil dry, naki at the soil way. And a soil formation journal, a wet condition tambra, uh, wet condition is desirable for the development of this type of soil. Now, low CEC and low fertility, I'm a bullshitam, the CEC which is cation exchange capacity, and a soil has got different types of colloids. Organic colloid and inorganic colloid. So organic colloids are like humus, humus particles. These are organic colloids. Inorganic colloids are fine clays, silicate clays. These are inorganic colloids. A organic colloid, inorganic colloid, and we know, we know all colloids are negatively charged. So it is negatively charged. It can hold plenty of ions, cations. Key polyman cation ke hold for the parish, a hutchet are CC. 
atom exchange capacity, sum total of exchangeable atoms present in a SAR. So I have sent you the link for the attendance. Please fill out the Google form that will produce the attendance of today's class. You'll get 10 minutes time. You'll get 10 minutes time to, to do that. Okay. So generally an E horizon of least and bleached gray white. I'm going to see ashy color. List and list. All right, John Jeta. Sheta Amra, a portolic soil forming process at Egbo, Abong that is portol soil. And iron and aluminium will be deposited in B horizon. And these are poor farming areas. So these are not that much suitable for. Wait, let me check. Let me check. Maybe I have closed it. Let me check it again. Okay, okay. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm have a look. Okay, do it now. I have enabled the attendance, so you can do it. Can you do it now? Same problem. Hmm. Forget about that. I will have my attendance in in, in the Zoom uh, uh, system. So I will extract it from there. Don't worry about your attendance. I will make it in the, in the other way. So come to the class. Don't worry about your attendance. Need need not to need not to put your ID number here. Try to follow the discussion. Uh -huh. 
You need not to fill up the form. I will extract your attendance. You are more concerned about att attendance than, than the class. Don't worry about your attendance. I'll give you the attendance for those who are in the class because the, that will be deposited in the Zoom platform. I will extract it from there. If you just put in your ID, then it, it will be difficult to follow your, you will not be able to follow the class. Tumadhe ID number dawar dokkar nai. ID number ar dite hobe na. Ami sheta extract kore nebo Zoom platform theke. Amar kotha shuno? Our ID number da da kar nai. Zoom theke ami attendance niye nebo. Zoom e mothe ase. Sab ane deposited thake je kara kara class kore chho. Kya ekato khun kore chho. Koi bar ke login kore chho. Koi bar log out kore chho. Sab ukhane thakbe. In detail. Okay. Shun bondo hoye chhe mano chhe. এখন থেকে যারা আইডি দিবে এখান এখন থেকে যারা এখানে আইডি দিবে আমি তাদেরকে তাদের অ্যাটেন্ডেন্স কেটে দেব দেখি এখন কে দেয় এখন থেকে যারা আইডি নাম্বার দিবে তাদের অ্যাটেন্ডেন্স দেওয়া হবে না কেটে দেব এখন আর কেউ দেবে না পরশে ওকে তাহলে আমরা ডিসকাস করছিলাম অর্জলাইজেশন शन इज लार्जर दें पानी बसिमानड हमारे दें uh if we compare it to the loss evaporation and transpiration processes that to loss and that the basic polymer what i had to say that snowfall hote pare that rain hote pare that uh it's a dew hote pare fog hote pare in many forms it is hope je kono form e matite pani add howa seta ke amra precipitation bolchi so tahole ei obostha ar मैटारिटी चकलेट कैटायन बसि हाई 
তাহলে তার অ্যাটায়ন এক্সচেঞ্জ ক্যাপাসিটি বেশি হবে না কম হবে গুড ভেরি গুড কম হবে কারণ কি স্যান্ডি সয়েল Yes, I am in. Sorry, again, it was a problem like uh, I didn't notice that my uh, laptop power is running low. It was running low and all of a sudden it stopped working. So we are, we are here. So this is what we are discussing. Hale, I'm not yet a young lamb, the cordial soil is a way to develop for it. And let me know if you have any question. If you have any question, organic matter produce organic acid. That's why organic soil is acid. exactly. Exactly. Organic matter produces different types of organic acids. That's why that makes our soil acidic. Normally, this soil is the organic matter basis, this soil is acidic. Are you question? Do you have any question? Do you have any confusion? If you have any question, কলয়েড গুলোকে 
ধরে রাখে এখন যে সয়েলের মধ্যে কলয়েড যত বেশি সেই সয়েলের সিলসি তত বেশি হবে ডিকম্পোজ যে ফর্মে হোক এডিশনটা হচ্ছে আমার প্রেসিপিটেশন আর যেটা লস সেটা হচ্ছে সি হরাইজনের নিচে কি বি হরাইজন হতে পারে না সি হরাইজনের সি হরাইজন থেকে কি সি হরাইজন হচ্ছে প্যারেন্ট ম্যাটেরিয়াল যে জায়গা থেকে যে ম্যাটেরিয়াল থেকে সয়েলটা উৎপত্তি হয়েছে দ্যাট ইজ দা প্যারেন্ট ম্যাটেরিয়াল এর পরে আমরা ধরে নিই প্যারেন্ট ম্যাটেরিয়াল এর পরে যেটা থাকবে সেটা হচ্ছে আর বেড রক হোয়াট ইজ স্যান্ডি এন্ড ব্লিস্ট স্যান্ডি মানে কি আমরা বলছি যে সেখান থেকে তোমার ফাইন পার্টিকেলস যেগুলো ফাইন পার্টিকেলস গুলো আমার একটা হরাইজন থেকে ই হরাইজন থেকে লিচিং আউট হয়ে সেটা ছিল যার ফলে সেটাকে আমরা বলছি স্যান্ডি সেই সয়েলটার ক্লে এর পরিমাণ কমে যাবে স্যান্ডি এর পরিমাণ বেড়ে যাবে নিচে হ্যাঁ বাম সাইডের পিকচারটা কি মিন করে এখানে আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে একটা একটা ড্রোন একটা পিকচার একটা পিকচার ড্র করা হয়েছে আমরা যে সিস্টেম গুলো বললাম দেখো এখানে এই হরাইজন বলছি এলোভিয়েশন অফ বেসেস অক্সাইডস এন্ড ক্লেস লাইট পিল লেয়ার এই লেয়ারটা হবে যেটা এটা আসলে ই হরাইজন আমরা বলেছি ই কে অনেক সময় এ2 বলা হয় সেই হিসেবে সেটা কিন্তু এই জায়গায় আমরা এটাকে ই হরাইজন আসলে বলবো তো এই হরাইজন থেকে ম্যাটেরিয়াল গুলো ওয়াশ আউট হয়ে যাচ্ছে এখানে গিয়ে জমা হচ্ছে ইলুভিয়েশন অফ অক্সাইডস এন্ড ক্লেস এই লেয়ারে এসে সেটা জমা হয়েছে সো দিস ইজ এ a figure of development of organic soil okay ha amader shomoy shesh next class start kore alben ajke porjontoi tomader jodi kono question thake next class e amra question gulo ke address korbo okay thank you very much next class e amra tomader joto question thake question gulo ke next class e address korbo thank you All right, awesome.